Hey, 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 YouTube, it is your girl, Miss Brandy1525, and I am back to count them two videos in one night from your girl. Uh, I have been getting a lot of questions about my hair routine and how I do my baking soda conditioner. I did a video maybe a year ago, and it was low porosity hair problem solved, so I constantly get questions on that video and the steps and the process and how I do what I do for my hair so I wanted to come in and explain what I do disclaimer disclaimer I am not telling anybody to go out and get your baking soda and get your conditioner and do this because it works it is the end all answer to low porosity hair and moisture issues I'm not saying that I'm not telling anybody to go out and do this I am telling you what has worked for me and my low porosity hair uh, so you know try it at your own risk you know and but I got the questions, so I'm going to explain what I do. Okay, the first step in my wash day regimen is to cleanse my hair. I shampoo my hair, co-wash my hair, however I choose to cleanse my hair and scalp. Okay, after I, and it doesn't matter, y'all, I use any shampoo. Uh, I am currently using... I am about to fall. <laughs> Currently using VO5, good old VO5, uh, Kiwi Lime Squeeze with Lemongrass Extract Clarifying Shampoo. This cost about $2.29. It is the 26.5 fluid ounce one with the pump. I use this to shampoo my hair. I like it. It doesn't mat or tangle or dry my hair out. And I'm cool with VO5. Um... Yeah, so I cleanse my hair with the VO5 shampoo. After I cleanse my hair with the VO5 shampoo, I wrap my hair in a towel. I wrap my hair up probably for 10 to 15 minutes. I smoosh my hair, you know, to soak out the excess water. While I am letting my hair, um, keeping my hair wrapped with the towel to absorb the excess water in my hair, what I do is I then go and I take my conditioner, for conditioner right now, I am using and loving the Tresemme Perfectly Undone. Uh, this is their new conditioner. It is silicone free, so I am loving this uh, for a leave-in and also for a conditioner, for a co-wash, for a deep conditioner. This thing is everything, okay? Uh, this is better than the original formula Tresemme Naturals much better much much better it's thicker it's better if y'all want to review on this uh, a demo on this or whatever let me know in the comment section but anyway okay so i take my perfectly undone and my baking soda this is just generic baking soda from uh, clover valley it's a dollar general brand i believe and i am going to mix two heaping tablespoons of conditioner or baking soda i'm sorry two heaping tablespoons of baking soda into my conditioner and i use about a cup full of conditioner for my hair um i'm mixing that up as you mixing that up you are going to notice that your conditioner uh gets watery okay when your conditioner thins out and you can tell that the baking soda is well mixed in then you apply it to the hair that is your conditioning step there is no need to put this on rinse it out and use a conditioner because this is the conditioning step these two are your conditioner okay um i put those on and i let that sit under a plastic cap for 15 to 30 minutes okay and when i'm done with that i rinse that out after i rinse that out thoroughly i go in with bragg's apple cider vinegar i use about a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar to two quarts two quarts yeah to is two quarts two quarts of water so anyway 
I got my big old water pitcher like this, and I use about a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I don't measure it anymore. I just eyeball it, basically. And I make sure it's mixed up real good. And then I proceed to pour it all over my hair, working it into my hair and scalp. I let that sit on for five minutes, and I'm done. Okay, so, now, cleanse. Cleanse the hair shampoo of choice cleanse the hair with your shampoo of choice the next thing you are going to do is you're going to mix your baking soda and conditioner uh you're going to let that sit on for 15 to 30 minutes with the shower cap without a shower cap you know it's up to you and what you're doing with that is the baking soda is raising the ph balance of the conditioner so that your cuticles are lifted in order to accept the moisture that is provided by the conditioner and the water that's in your hair okay if that makes sense I hope I'm explaining it properly uh, I am NOT a cosmetologist I'm just telling you what works for me okay so after I do my baking soda conditioner to condition and raise the pH balance of my hair so that the cuticles are lifted and my hair actually accepts the conditioner and the moisture and all the goodness from the conditioner. Um, I am going to rinse that out. When I rinse that out with water, I am going to follow up with the apple cider vinegar rinse. The reason for the apple cider vinegar rinse is to return the hair back to its natural pH so that the cuticles close and the moisture that I got from shampooing and conditioning and baking soda and all of that goodness is sealed in. Okay, now that's it and that's all. I do not have a five, six hour wash day. I'm not on that. Uh, that was fun at one year natural, at two years natural, that was fun. Now I'm three years natural, over three years natural, and I don't have all day for that. I'm not on that. Having a wash day. I don't want a wash day. I want a wash hour, two hour, three hour at the most. And that includes styling. <laughs> okay. So that is what I do. That is how I do it. And I don't know any better way to explain it I'm trying to think did I miss anything um, somebody asked me about using a leave-in yes you still want to use a leave-in conditioner after you do all of this because the leave-in is what's going to keep your hair soft basically you got all the moisture you got all the goodness from your conditioner your cuticles was raised you got it all in you use the apple cider vinegar and closed them but now you want to use a leave-in to keep your hair soft for days so you can maintain the moisture for days okay so you use a leave-in and then you seal it with an oil and style your hair as you want to um that's about it. That's all I can think of. So if you have any questions, any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments section. And I will go through and I will write those questions down and I will address each question individually. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope that explained it. I, that is like as good as I can give it to y'all. <laughs> uh, I definitely do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Be beautiful, divas.